No. You didn't? No. Blessings. Blessings to you guys. Blessings. God bless you all. Yes. I love when I when these people are really exposing the dark side. Yeah. You know, when God revived them and they begin to speak up. I do too. I hope you're ready to hear this. Yes, I'm ready to hear it. Let's watch it. No. You didn't? No. Can I explain that? Yeah, please. <laughs> Because people think that the psychic is helping. I believed I was helping people for those moments that they were connecting through their grief. They were grievous. They're lonely. Even the people that were just looking for the job or, you know, needing guidance um, or insight. Um, it's not helpful because you're including them in a demonic practice. You're, you're deceived and you're helping to deceive them. The devil's using, he used me as a pawn and that's what he uses psychics as a pawn to do his dirty work. And then once that person has come for the reading, now they've opened the demonic door. And then you want to talk about some scary business, demonic oppression. Possession is rare. Yeah. I know that's a whole big thing. But we had the, a long interview with a, uh, an exorcist. Oh. And there's, yeah, there's a distinction here between yes. demonic possession, vexation, oppression, mm -hmm. temptation, yeah. which is the most common one of mm -hmm. But that is um, a consequence that's guaranteed once you open the door to the demonic. It's guaranteed. However, it's going to, um, I always say that the, the devil attacks, the demonic attacks are personal. Just like Jesus died for us personally, we have a personal faith with him. Those demonic attacks are personal because what's going to get to me is going to be different than what gets to you, right? So whether it's anxiety, confusion, the sleep paralysis, the nightmares, um, doubts, um, things start going wrong in your life because, listen, the devil doesn't care about you. He doesn't care about you. He hates God and he hates man. He's willing to give you a little bit of what you want for now and let you pay the price, let you pay the consequences of it. So it's um, really a very dangerous thing. So you're not helping anybody when you're a psychic at all. Wow. They are not helping nobody, zero. But... That's what desperate people um, go to. They go to psychics or these false prophets because yeah. they're so desperate. But yeah. they don't know that they're getting more in a spiritual prison. Yeah. And they get more demonically attacked. Like, it just, I wish people would understand it. So I'm so glad that she's speaking up about this yeah. because uh, that's just facts. Yeah. And uh, I love it because. Uh... For her to open up like this, because I believe that uh, she, you know, she was in that, but now she has come to realize Christ, right? So you see that a lot of these false prophets, a lot of these psychics, they will want you to come to them, not for you to come go to God yourself. They they want you to believe that without them you cannot make it, yeah. you cannot be happy, you you know. It's all about them playing with your emotion. The psychic will tell you, if you don't come to me, it will be terrible. The way they will present the whole thing and make you to hang on the air. And you believe you can only land because they're holding you to land. Mm -hmm. That's how all these prophets, false prophets, that's how they, they, they you know, they they draw their gullible members. Their gullible members believe is all from what the prophet is preaching. That's where they can only be fed. Mm -hmm. They don't believe that they can go to God themselves. So I love this very well. And that's why we want to bring mm -hmm. it to a lot of people. Mm -hmm. They are not helping nobody. Mm -hmm. They can only put you in bondage. Yes, because you got to keep doing rituals you to make to. Satan happy. You have you to. Know? And then fear comes in too. A mm -hmm. lot of fear. After uh, people go to psychics, you know, they just more fear is coming upon your life. Mm. And you're trying to fix it and more rituals. And then more, you get more demonically possessed and you get more spiritually blinded and spiritually dumb because you're trying to catch up to let's, let this get better in my life. And if you ever go to any church, or you are a member of any 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 ministry, and every first of every month you have to sow a seed for that particular month to be you know for you to progress. 
you are in a psychic circle. You are in a psychic altar because they cannot help you. They know the target, the, 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 you know, the desire for that day or for that month. They will constantly, constantly pressure you to believe their lies. Mm -hmm. So that's all. They are not helping you. They want you to make them rich, make them you know, look great. But you can have hope, have faith, keep struggling, keep looking stupid while they are really progressing. We are bringing this so that a lot of people will wake up. We know that some people are waking up. More people are really waking up. Mm -hmm. Because it's all about play. The psychic are playing their, their followers. The false prophets without are playing their global members. Let me tell you this. Do you know that this, you know, glad that she has rep repented, there will still be people that will be reading her books or her videos, old videos, will still believe it. Why she's already here, repented, and telling people it's all fake, it's all yes. deception. We're not actually helping you. That's what she's saying. We're not. I actually didn't help anybody. And I actually I, made them made it worse. For them. I know. And you will hear, you know, she. I don't. I don't know where I can find her full interview. She will tell people if you have bought anything from me, or I just trash them. And you still out there buying all this that will help you to connect and become billionaire from all these pastors, all this. The, the sad part is all this all olive oil, all this anointing stuff that they're selling. Yeah. The psychics, they have a lot of them that they're selling. Yeah, they do. You, you need to ask question, where is all these pastors getting all these ideas from? If you cannot ask yourself this question, <laughs> You are like off in this world. You are nowhere to be found. You have to ask, where in the Bible did all this manifested? Selling all olive oil, selling anointing oil, selling a handkerchief, selling all this. Anoint anyone that you hear them say this is anointing in it, you need to run. Because <laughs> psychic will still tell you there is power in this. And all just lies. It's so sad how uh, Satan is causing corruption everywhere. Hmm. Like, back in the day, you know, used to be so, so, so much innocence towards that. I'm talking hmm. about like back in the Bible days. It, it used to be so authentic, uh, just anointed oil and any anointed oil. But now ugh, they're using it as a commodity. They're using it as a uh, as a tool to gain wealth and money. Oh, to help your people, <laughs> help your people. Yes. Mm. So if you get desperate and you are in your desperate season, which we all have went through that, don't mm. get so desperate that you are getting deeper into mess with Satan. Yeah. Because, um, like the you know the psychic said that they're not helping you. Yeah, no. They're not helping you. So don't don't allow Satan to mock you in your in your mud. I know, right? Yes, mm. you know. So he he loves when you go through. Satan loves when you go through because he know how to get you in your desperate hours. Yeah, I mean, imagine all these um, demonically possessed rich people out here. They been through some things and they got so desperate. Yeah. And Satan gave them wealth. Believe me, they're not happy. Mm -mm. They're not happy. I mean, people uh, think that they they're running from they running from sadness. Yeah. And then when you know when you get involved in, with Satan, yeah, they running from sadness, and then they get all they all they want. Then they go deeper into sadness. Yeah. And on yeah. the outside, you know, they look happy. But on the inside, they're sad. Yeah. I just love Jesus because he is teaching us all to be patient. Yeah. Be dedicated to him. Mm -hmm. Be dedicated to God. Be dedicated to Christ Jesus. Yeah. And be in love with him. Have a relationship with him. Uh, because uh, we can't, we can't like look up to humans. And Satan, this is what Satan do. He, he uses humans. So that you can worship them. Yeah. Okay. And then it's, these humans are working with Satan. 
So that's why you need a you got, you got to be dedicated to Christ Jesus, and He will bring you back up. Yeah, He will transform you into a new person. Yeah, that old creature, that old person has passed away. Yeah, you know. Um. So, you know, we we also need to remember what the Bible says that whatever you ask in Jesus' name, yeah. He will give it to you. And also the Bible says you don't have because you don't ask. Yeah. Because uh, this people will bring, watch them not to read the scriptures that you're talking about. They, I know. It. They it's will always make about them, money. It will, they will make them to focus on them. I'm mm -hmm. um, your God. You yes. know, uh, 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 David Eteler, we got a, I, got a, I got a video. David Eteler told the members, you don't need to wait for God to come and speak to you. I am representing God. For you. So when I say it, believe it. Do it. God will not speak to you. So because he's the one representing God. He's on our he's on one of our videos. Let me tell you something. When you hear somebody talk like that, run fast as you can. But these global members don't run. What? And let me tell you something. We have been dumb, we have been stupid, and we have been gullible. Okay, so when you hear us say that, we've been there before. That's yeah. why we're on these videos trying to warn everybody else. Yeah, and we know okay. that you're going to wake up. Yeah, you're going to wake up. It will come a time. Because uh, when we started this ministry, a lot of people came against us, but now they are with us. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> now they, oh know, they know that the scam is real. The scam is real. Mm. Thank y'all so much for watching. We love you guys. Bye. Bye, y'all.